According to some of the farmers, the effort by the state government is a welcome development as it will go a long way in ensuring that they continue producing tomatoes in the state. To prepare the land very well, uh, so that uh, every tomato farmer knows how to how to bear the, the, the seedling, how to transplant, how to maintain the tomato. But uh, this was a new variety. It comes with a different uh, technology or different uh, way of putting the, uh, the, the, the seed. So we learn now. We are going to teach our fellow farmers on how this tomato can cover off. Some agricultural experts who spoke to Liberty News said, although the disease cannot be completely eliminated for now, everything is being done to bring it under control through the introduction of new improved tomato seedling for the farmers. The part of the strategy we are following up the farmers in their various fields, try to see all the agronomic practices or the best practices for this tomato produ production, they adapted it so that those problems that emanated last year in the tomato production did no rest of pace. We're going to follow up equally to make sure that these seedlings are delivered to the farmers and the farmers that are utilizing them give us a feedback of how progressive and how developmental the seeds are or the seedlings are to them. Farmers across the three geopolitical zones of Kaduna State have since been given the new improved tomato seedling for this year's dry season farming. Sanigar Bahasan, Liberty News.